Um, well, I wanted to start off today with some things that I think we all end up teaching. How many folks still have to teach somebody how to light a Bunsen burner? Yes. How many folks have to teach a kid how to light a match these days? <laughs> what the heck? Can you believe that? I could not believe this when kids said, oh, my parents won't let me touch that. Really? You drove here today while texting. I was just amazed by that. <laughs> That's okay. Let mom know when you got to school. Okay. Um, well, one of the things I tried to do when I, when I was teaching my first year um, classes was, you know, you have to show kids how a Bunsen burner works. And so I brought what um, I learned at one point was known as Bunsen's big burner. This is a burner. Now, let me tell you, you know, when I taught junior high, if I'd get this out, I'd say, okay, guys, what's this? And all the eighth grade boys would say, flamethrower, and they'd just drool with excitement, you know? All right, so this was even a better, oh, my God, okay. So what are we going to do with this? Um, this was just to show the basics of what, how a Bunsen burner works. So we have a burner line, and I have a little tank of, of gas down here. And one of the things was kids always thought that it was going to get too hot and didn't understand the gas the gas level and the oxygen level. So that's what this was for. Shall we go for this? Go for it. Okay, excellent. So now I will turn on a little bit of gas down here. Hopefully all goes well. You need to be very cautious when you bring flames into large group areas. People get sensitive. Okay. So we're going to put some gas in here, some methane in here. Make sure we get plenty of methane in here. Oh my God, that instantly makes you the goddess of fire. <laughs> okay, so the, what, the important part of a burner is, is that it's yellow flame up there because it has to mix with the air, but if you just open the bottom and let just a little bit of air in, Oh, that's really hot. Oh, that's awesome. And then you put the stopper back in, and you show that you don't have any air in there. And what color is it? Yellow. And the kids are like, oh, that's awesome. No. No. Not hot at all. Put some air in there. I'm not a fool. I'm not going to reach up there now. Heck, no, no way. Uh-uh. OK. And do that. Now, if you really want to keep administrators out of your room, you do this. You sit on the floor. You have the kids gather around you and you go, <laughs> and make the kids circle to the left and then back to the right. Um, that usually keeps them out for the rest of the year. Okay. All right. Now you're like, what do you do with that? Oh, that's so cute. And you let the flame run back down in the tube. And you can show the kids that there's uh, water vapor on the inside of the tube. All right, so to keep people from being very worked up about too much gas, we'll turn that down and turn that off. All right, decent, get the idea. In the essence, in the essence of keeping the fire department out of here, I will not do the other bubbly methane demos. We didn't want to kill the show on the first one. Okay, now, um, let me light this little burner real quick. So then you finally get out a, a real burner. Well, that's a little much, I do believe. We'll light a burner here. OK. Nice little burner. OK, we'll put him right here. All right, now, you do this with kids, and they instantly think, that you want to put anything that you're heating right there, down at the bottom. I'm going to fry it really good right here. And you're like, no, the hottest part of the burner is at the peak of the blue flame. And they just, they don't believe you. They absolutely don't believe you. So let me turn that down a little bit. Oh, that's ever so much better. So I came up with a good way to show the kids that that is not the hottest part of a burner. How do we do that? And if we can switch to this camera, this guy, and do a little focus on the burner. 
Okay, it must be really hot because you can't see anything. Great. So I'm going to turn this off for just a moment. We've got a little match in here. Can you see him? I skewered him through with a pen. Oh, look, match crucifixion. It's a horrible thing. <laughs> All right. I'm going to lower him down into here just like this. Now we're going to refocus. It's, oh, boy. I'll try to keep you from getting sick. We'll try. All right. Can we see him, the little victim? Oh, there he is. Okay, now, now we're going to turn on some gas and let things get a lot more lively. Now, if you dim the lights in the room, I think you can see that the flame is lit all around him. Can you guys see that? Nice. Okay, so if I leave that on, if I scan up just a little bit, if I reach in and grab right here, right there in front of a whole bunch of people, and move that little match up, watch where it lights. At the tip of the blue flame. Who would have known? And if they don't believe you, then you get out the book of matches and you do it again. But you can put it right down in the middle, Put the little match down in there. Now, if you really want to make the kids believe that this is true and get all of that, you know how that, uh, you have that, I know how to light the burner, and then lab starts, and they're like, I can't do this. And they start yelling your last name, and you didn't realize how many kids you actually had. Riced, 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 hey, burner, riced. Give, the, give each one of them a book of matches and a bunch of pens, and it'll be over in moments. You'll never have to light another burner. So let's try it again one more time. We'll grab it. Oh, careful. Oh, oh, steady. Oh, tip of the blue flame. Woohoo! Okay. Um, in your handout, it also talks about using a piece of cardboard. And if you use a piece of cardboard, a little round square of cardboard, and I'm not doing this because of fire code, hold it, write it down at the bottom, you will burn a charred ring right around here on the cardboard. It's awesome. Right around the edges. The middle will be absolutely cool. It's great. Pull it up, tip of the blue flame, the whole room looks like it's on fire. It's awesome! <laughs>